Hello everyone. Welcome to our short little reflection on Monday the 12th of December. Monday in the third week of Advent. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Declare it to the distant lands. Behold, our Saviour will come. You need no longer fear. Those words taken from the prophet Jeremiah remind us of our mission as church. To go into the world, all the world, and proclaim Jesus. That's why we exist as church. And so we take on that responsibility because it is given to us by the Lord, but we also do it out of love, out of love for the world and those around us. Dear friends, as we focus on our mission, it's important for us to also consider those that make up the church. Do we love everyone in the church? We've spoken over these weeks of Advent of the tensions and difficulties and challenges within the church. We know they exist, they're real, and we, we can never have a perfect community. But do we love everyone? Do we create space in our hearts for one another, despite the differences? You know, there are many people, and this is what came from this consultation last Advent, there are many people who are part of the church, who are active, involved in the church, love the church, love Jesus, who also don't feel totally at home in the church. They feel like second-class citizens of the church. They're not entirely sure that the church fully accepts them. And this is really sad. And we know such people. They may be members of our own family. They may be us. Divorced and remarried. LGBTQ plus people. And women. Those are groups that can be really generous, active, wholehearted Catholic Christians. And yet, because of the language that the church uses, because of the history, because of structures and rules in the church, those groups feel excluded. They don't feel fully loved. Is that, is that the kind of community we want to be building and creating? I don't think so. It's very difficult for us to share the love of God with others outside the church if we're not trying to find ways to ensure that those within the church too feel fully at home, that they belong, that they are loved, that they are valued, that they have a role to play, that they can share their gifts, their charisms generously and wholeheartedly. And so let us this week make space for our brothers and sisters, all of them within the church. Let us pray. Incline a merciful ear to our cry, O Lord, and, casting light on the darkness of our hearts, visit us with the grace of your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. God bless. 
Have a great day.